Hey guys, Trevor here. Um, this is going to be a very quick episode. I've been fairly flat out doing uh, working on some video projects for a couple of um, clients, but I thought I just wanted to put something up because it is a weekly catch up out and about with Trevor, and I thought, well, whatever I'm doing, I might try and feature some of that. Um, last week I focused on my uh, audio kit, which uh, is contained in my Pelican 1600 case, and I got an email from someone that wanted to know, with all of the equipment that's in it, uh, if it fell into the water, whether it'd float. Um, I haven't actually done this, so I'm going on an assumption, but I'm pretty sure that the thing would still float. Um, and even if it did sink, well, it's still waterproof, so as long as you weren't like in the ocean, you probably don't have too much of a problem. But um, in a future episode, I'm going to uh, actually, it might even be next week's, I might actually um, throw it in the bath and we'll just find out just what actually happens um, if with all the gear in. I don't know that there's that much gear. I mean, there's, there's uh, I'm, I'm almost certain the thing's going to float. Some of the things I've seen on the, on the internet, they put a lot of weight into these things and they've They've struggled to get them to sink, so I'm, I'm really certain this is going to float, but we'll see. Over the last couple of weeks, I finally over my bloody cold. People remember I was sick for oh, weeks, um, whatever I had. Um, it knocked me around, but I'm like, well, I can breathe normally now, so I'm like, you know, basically 100% back on my feet, which is great. Got all my uni stuff out of the way, which I mentioned um, in previous episodes. Uh, what else has been happening? Well... In a couple of the, the episodes over the last 12 months, people have noticed I've talked a few times about the fact that I've been a member of the Peer Education Support Program run by the Council of Homeless Persons. This program is specifically for people that have had the lived experience of being homeless and have now transitioned out the other side and are now in a better place where they can look back with you know some clarity and objectivity and therefore advocate for those that are still on the streets. And I've been a member of that program for the last two years. And actually, about a week ago, um, we actually uh, graduated from the program. We get a two-year tenure with them, and uh, we get a nice little certificate. I'm not really about certificates. I've got plenty of them sitting in the cupboard, but this one's pretty cool, just recognition of the work we've done. We've done some really cool stuff, uh, some media stuff. We've done uh, a lot of stuff in the background, a lot of public speaking to different groups, um, and some of the highlights for me, well, I did a nice speech on the, the 50th floor of 600 uh, Burke Street earlier in the year, and that was pretty cool. That was to a heap of lawyers who were embarking on uh, pro bono work for the homeless, which uh, one of the things I mentioned on the day was that it doesn't matter where you slot into society, you need to have the same access to all the services that everyone else has got. And you shouldn't be denied those services just because you're, you know, you're on Struggle Street and you're really um, doing it tough. And quite often what happens is when you get people that are disadvantaged or homeless and they've got a legal issue, when they can actually sit down with an actual lawyer, go through and get a no BS response. That's what I told them, the lawyers too. What people want to hear is the no BS response. Um, tell them exactly what's going to happen. And I think a lot of the times, um, a lot of their fears and concerns can 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 be eroded, So, which is good. Um, but I've done some other stuff. I've done, uh, did some stuff in Geelong. I did a, um, a speech out in East Gippsland, and I actually, this is the one I got to video, so there's a little bit of that. So that was really cool. Um, people may also remember that last year was actually episode seven of Weekly Catch Up uh, Out and About with Trev. I did a Victorian Indigenous Statewide Homelessness Network uh, special, and we were up at Echuca. And I interviewed Dan Laws, who's the coordinator. I also had a chat to Jason Russell, who's another colleague off the PESP program. And we're actually off to Hall's Gap later in the week, and I'm hopefully do some filming. Um, hopefully the three of us are going to sit down. So Dan and Jason and myself are going to sit down and we'll talk about some of the Indigenous issues in regard to homelessness. It's important to understand that the Indigenous population is about 3% of the overall Australian population but they amount to something like 25% of the homeless. So there's disproportionate representation, if nothing else. And they've got some specific issues attached to that. So we'll, we'll certainly sit down and have a chat to them, and it'll be interesting to hear what they've got to say. Um, I'm probably not going to air that. I'm not going to put that special up till probably, I don't know, sometime in January. 
So I'm going to keep that one up my sleeve a little bit. So I've got that. Um, other things I've been doing, well, like I said, I recently did a thing about my audio kit, and the other night we had some cracking thunderstorms roll through. It was amazing. And I actually set the gear up out in the back veranda uh, on the balcony, and um, I got to record some awesome thunder, like some of the best thunder I've recorded. It was, it was brilliant. And I can use that for all sorts of things down the track. Don't worry, you never know when you might need some rolling thunder in the background. Uh, there was a bit of lightning, but it wasn't actually fully dark, so it didn't come up really good. But I did get a little bit of that. Um, what else am I... What else am I oh, still doing some other work with different people. Still working with the Bollywood guys, so they're still working on their, their production. We are filming yesterday, and um, we actually used my wireless kit. Whoops. We used my wireless uh, mic. Uh, we had it out at about the 100 metres, so it was interesting to see it work at its actual maximum range, um, and that was that was interesting. Um, apart from that, haven't been doing a whole heap. I must admit I'm taking it easy. Today's actually my birthday. Um, no fanfare required. It's just another day in the in the calendar. Um, I, I struggle to understand how yesterday was one thing and today something different just because of a number going up. Anyway, there you go. Um, that's just me. Uh, for the record, I've turned 48. Um, just a thing. I, I don't actually feel 48. I've got to be honest with you, I really don't. Um, I feel fitter now than I felt, well, certainly back in my 30s. I mean, I was, um, yeah, I don't know. I just, maybe, who knows? There you go. I recently had a, a barrage of blood tests done, and to quote my doc, he reckoned I was in pretty good nick, so um, I'll take that. Anyway, like I said, uh, this is a very short episode. I just wanted to get something up. Um, still working on a heap of things, and hopefully next week I'll get out of the office. I will get around. There's all sorts of cr cool things coming up. I just got to get out and about a bit more, but I just needed to take things easy on I mean, the last last couple of months have been flat out i don't know if you can see like up on my up on my year planner here this thing this thing tells a story this tells a story that i've been very very busy with uni and all sorts of things um we've got trips away we've got different conferences i went to as part of the the with chp um different things you know different things going on when i look at this i sort of understand why towards the end of it i i fell in a bit of a heap so i'm trying to trying to take it easy for, for the for the moment. Uh, got plans for next year, got some cool stuff coming up. Um, and like I say, new titles, I'm still working on them. And apart from that, that might be it, guys. Like I said, really short. But um, yeah, I'll see what I can bring you next week.